in this trip, I'm going to give you a complete guide to my tray empty stack five wide scheme. I have over a thousand reps at least with each each and every play. It is a complete scheme. There's even a run scheme. The quarterback run is very powerful with the best screen in the game. You have really good quick passes. You can bomb cover two, cover three, cover four, uh, bomb man coverage, one play touchdown versus spinner out of dollar. There's so much to unpack here. These are just a few of the highlights. Let's get into it. I'm going to timestamp everything from a, from the plays uh, so you can break it down. But this is one location for everything. Be sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if you like this. Put a lot of time into it. Get to work and let's improve and get better. Back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Okay. Scroll switch. Base play cover three, for example. They do not have a hook curl right here. Let's say let's say they are manning cross manning it to A. They're using this guy. If they don't immediately go out here, this is gonna be a, a quick hike play. All you do is streak the tight end, uh, A. And you have a, a great dig zig route on the right hand side, along with the streak to clear out anything. Also, this S post is really good. And the curl is a, the very last read, which I don't throw often, but uh, sometimes if the player is really good, I'm gonna have to throw that curl. Uh, but your, your read progression is as follows. X uh, on the S post is a quick pass. And then I look to my right for the zig and then the, the dig route. And then lastly, the streak. And then I go back to the S post and then the curl route. X, zig, dig, streak, S post, X, boom. Quick pass, easy completions. You can freeform that to the inside. You can just quick quick pass it. Very good. So whatever defense, if they're not using that and they don't have a hook from someone to the inside, meaning, for example, he's not gonna, as you can see, he's not gonna guard that, right? The purple zone's not gonna guard that. Uh, the hook did. Typically, the hook has to be a little bit further to the inside, but for whatever reason, this alignment, it, it it's working out okay. So after that, once again, you read to the other side, you read the, uh, the zig route, which is really good. Okay. And then the dig route, as long as they, uh, it's going to be hard to take away that, um, that zig route. It's easy to get that boom. Nice, easy 10 to 15 yards. Boom was the in route. The dig route, it wasn't open, and then I went back to the S post, right? So let's uh, let's get to that. They had a bunch of underneath hook zones that took away the dig, but if they took away this uh, whip route, the dig would have been open right here, okay? But they didn't take away either of those. They didn't take away the zig, so the dig didn't get open. But if the dig wasn't open, as you can see, you can throw the streak right after he crossed it. He he pushes that vert hook and then obviously you can throw the s post late as well okay so let's uh let's just do this one more time i'm going to show you how you can easily throw this streak route underneath overall this is my favorite base play uh, in this in this uh five wide i would say this is by far the best base play it's just it's just very difficult to uh to, to stop once again throw that under the deep knockout uh let me i'm going to take away the zig here we're going to do something like this I'm, i want to show you this dig route ends up doing a good job of getting in between all those zones and typically they're going to have to shoot out to the left to take away everything all right now one other thing i like to do and this is a concept that i like to do on everything is i like to put uh y the, the front receiver on a corner route and then streak the back receiver, and this gets open versus any type of zone, right? So, boom, easy, success to toe tap. And what I like about this play is that you have three really good options on the opposite side of the field on the right-hand side, right? With the, the zig, the dig, and the streak. But against any type of zone coverage, this streak is gonna pull any type of third, meaning the corner and the corner is going to get over everything except maybe a 30 yard cloud flood. If they have it backed up, it won't, but even then you can still throw it late. So that's, that's another really good route combination. Um, let's just do, let's just do spinner here. Okay. Baseline press 
they're doing that, and let's just say they're using kind of more over here in the middle of the field. As you can see, you can throw X to the uh, to the inside. Just a terrible throw. So they're hovering there. Boom. Easily can throw that against man coverage as well. So I want to show you how you can throw that against man. And also against spinner, uh, one, thing, one thing I like to do is, and a lot of times what they, on spinner, um, they're not going to blitz both sides. They're, they're going to do something like that. And they're going to try to manually user this this guy, right? So they're going to manually try to take away X. So I'm going to simulate doing that. And then what I like to do, um, what I like to do against when, when people try to do stuff like this is once again, this combination right here, which is so, so good. And look, X ended up getting wide open because it is spinner and they press. It's really good. But that corner route on that left-hand side is something I really like to pepper and pepper a lot. Now, also, um, and that, that's really it. I'm going to go to the next play to go over a couple of things I like to do on the right-hand side of the, of the field, if, especially if they're not blitzing from that right-hand side. But whenever whenever they're doing an all-out, you know, spinner blitz, baseline press, once again, um, let's see here. I got to man that guy up. I got to press this. Let's say I want to take away this, this X receiver. Just do the base setup. Okay. This, uh, this zig route is going to get, is going to get open. And uh, once again, you, you boom can throw it real quickly, right? When he's about to break, he's going to get underneath that defender. As long as he doesn't have a short, uh, KO man, KO, you're going to be able to complete that. And then, but as you, if you saw what I did was I stepped up in the pocket. So even though the blitz is coming in by stepping up in the pocket, it takes away the guy on the right. And then, um, you, you have plenty of time, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So let's, let's do that one more time. I'm going to step up in the pocket. We're going to audible the spinner. We're going to take away him. All right. Okay. Now here's spinner, just the base setup I'm going to do. One other thing I like to do is you, if you want, you can ID that corner or ID the outside, the outside corner, either, either way doesn't matter. Um, once again, you want to step up in the pocket, right? And then you can throw the dig route was going to be open, or you can throw, uh, throw that streak route. But as you can see, when you step up in the pocket, when you ID that guy, he didn't actually get picked. He didn't actually pick him up that time, but a lot of times he will pick up the guy, right? But, when you step up in the pocket like that, you have enough time to make some of these reads. You know, you can throw that read or you can throw the streak. And I'll throw, I'll throw the streak as an ag. Um, if they're doing all out man blitzes, once again, ags are your best friend. Uh, once the cornerback turns, boom, easy, easy completion versus all out man coverage. Now that's a quick read, right? But it's, uh, it's something you're just gonna have to, you're gonna have to learn how to make quick reads in five wide. You can't be in five wide and not make quick reads. But look, the, the pressure still came in, but we're able to pick up the right hand side. And uh, once again, they have to manually use your, this running back. So there's gonna have to be one on one here, unless they decide not to send that corner. If they don't send that corner, then the blitz is gonna get picked up. But once again, when he, right when the defender turns, I'm throwing the ball. Back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 what hey, I like to hey. do back in that, against yeah. this, uh, first and foremost, I like to, um, I like to look at the X receiver against spinner. It's gonna be a one play touchdown. This was that was really good alpha, by the way. All right, bang bang. This is going to be fade out out of empty tray stack. So if you do want to come out of this formation and not go from tight doubles to uh, empty tray stack, you can. I like to do is put the package to halfback stack. Um, once again, my running back is going to be the back receiver who can be on different drags and, you know, slants and, uh, quick passes and with short end, uh, with Marshall Falk, Falk, I really like it and allows me to audible back to any type of trio trips or two, three receiver set if I'd like. All right. So fade out. Um, what's first of all. This formation is so good versus dollar. Um, it's really good versus nickel over as well. So I'm gonna first and foremost, just go over um, some of the basics, right? So if they're in a, a cover three sky, they're base aligned. All you do, the first base setup is against any zone coverage, 
any type of cover two or cover three, um, this is going to be a, essentially a one play touchdown. And if they're in cover four, uh, that's where I like the audible to post wheel. Um, it's very good. Or really anything underneath is wide open versus the cover four. So they can't run cover two, right? They can't run cover three. Um, and a lot of man coverage can be bombed as well. But first and foremost, let me show you what I mean by you can throw that to the to the inside. But what's really good about this is I like to actually throw it to the Y receiver, which is the little fade route, right? Watch how the inside third, right? There's only three deep safeties and we have five guys going deep, right? So this middle right here is gonna be open. Um, but what I'm like to read is the two receiver side on this left-hand side. Okay, so you can throw like bull pass lead with a uh, free form to the inside to the running back. And as you can see, he got open. He caught the ball even on deep zone KO. But this is a one play touchdown to 81 Mike Williams. All right, so let's let's show that again. Just streak the running back. All right. So right when he, he gets past there and you can boom, big big time catch. Free form that to the outside. Really easy to do. And also you can, you can do that with um, RB, right? You can find that little, that little, that little uh, sweet spot there uh, can be good. Now, when I look to that side, it's typically whenever I'm on this left hash, okay? Um, I always like to be on the, a hash. I hate being in the middle of the field, but when you're on this hash, right, it's easy to, to be able to freeform that or uh, high throw it. So all I do is throw a high ball and then I uh, go down into the outside or down into the inside, just depending on what you want to do. And most of the time, He's going to be able to, to catch that and not get hit. Now, in Mutt, we have all these really big freaks. And so um, the, some of the throws can be a little bit little bit tighter. But the window is there, and you're able to, to complete that. Okay, so let me, uh, let me show you this wide receiver. It's open right there as well. So we got, we got, we got these, these big bullies out there that are, are giving us a little bit of trouble in, um, in practice mode. No big deal. But yeah, see, just pull a pass, lead that down. So you, you have those two seams, right, versus cover three. Now let's go to a cover two. All right. Let's do this. Just let them pass the cloud. And boom, easy completion. The sideline there, the deep middle is open as well. Literally everything is, um, is open. You just have to let him cross the hook. And you can pass lead that to the inside. Easy completion there. Also on the right-hand side, it's... Obviously, going to be a bit, you know, big time as well versus versus the cover two. All right, just let him pass. After B gets bumped, he's going to be open to the sideline as well. So in cover two, um, as you should know, what is what is the weak spots is the four corners. I like to say the two corners that are short right at the line of scrimmage on the outside underneath the clouds unless it's a hard flat or if it's a cloud or hard flat over the, over the cloud flat or hard flat underneath or to the outside of the deep halves right and you just have a pole route that's keeping the halves in the middle of the field and you can pepper both outsides right and then obviously the deep middle can be as well you can exploit that as well against cover two so those are the four corners right short and deep to the outside is what we're, you're looking to attack um you just have to let let the let the B receiver get past the cloud, and it's easy. Typically, a one play touchdown. So that's fade out versus zone uh, versus man. It can be good as well. We'll go a cover one. One thing I like to do versus man is I like to uh, like to ag it, and that was a really bad throw. And what I like to do when I when I do this to the Y receiver is I like to go uh, down into the outside. Like that, right when he cuts, get underneath the guys, and boom, um, it can be um, an easy completion. Like I said, the eggs have got a little bit worse now that you have these really big giants out there um, in mutt, but that that's still very aggable versus uh, versus versus man. Let me actually try to press press the man coverage here. Okay, boom, just like that. Especially man press, it works really good. Um, you can also do this to to any of the um, other other guys as well. The defense is baseline press, and obviously you you understand that 
If they don't, you can quick hike this really fast. And if they don't get the adjustment off to man up the tight end, that's going to be an easy one play touchdown. But what, what I like to do, I like to look at the X receiver against spinner. It's going to be a one play touchdown. This was, that was really good alpha, by the way. That was really good alpha. Versus spinner, they're going to be pressed. And when they press, this is a one play touchdown. Boom. You see that? Just streak X. Look at that. Easy. All right. So they're, they're going to do different things. A really good player will end up backing up the coverage, right? So they're not pressed. They man that guy up. All right. Um, what else do I like to do? Uh, you can quickly, you can quickly throw um, different things. Like you could, you could quickly throw this underneath like that against backed off man coverage. Okay, that's just a read. You're gonna have to just, uh, you just have to get good at it. Meaning you just have to practice it, right? The other thing I like to do um, is I like to, you know, hide ball underneath. Okay, didn't work there, but I like to, I like to do that as well. So that's the two things I really like to do in fade out versus um, versus man coverage. The other thing I like to do is I like to put both the, the RB and uh, X on slants, and I like to motion in RB, okay? And as you can see on the motion slant, one of them is going to get open. I blitzed like seven there, so I need to do my adjustments on defense. All right, and then motion him, uh, motion Calvin right here because... When you motion slant, he's going to get a little bit better separation. And boom, one of the slants are going to be open. And if they end up not blitzing on one side, which a lot of times I end up doing, um, you're going to have just more time to step up in the pocket. And make sure against this, you don't step back. Because you can see if you, if you do move back, you're moving into the blitz. Where if you step up, they can actually uh, get fully picked. It can get picked up. But this is also why I like short in on this guy. As you can see, he lit up. Boom. Look how much he just tortures him. So they have to have a user right there, short right there, or it's going to be a completion. Once again, uh, if they have, we have these guys backed up, they also have to guard the short area right here, right? So it makes it very hard to blitz. Um, and then also, uh, you can you can try your chances on an ag. If they have a peppers, like Julius Peppers out there, I don't want to really ag, try to ag that. It'll be difficult. But that's what fade out is, right? It's a really good play. It's the base play of this offense. Um against cover two cover three it's one play touchdowns versus man the slants the motion slant uh the quick pass from the slot also if they're in spinner or any type of press defense it's a one play touchdown so that's the base play in empty tray stack you've got to make them adjust to that it makes it very hard to blitz and then that's when you can eat them up with the other combos that we're going to go over back in the back in the back again whoa whoa yeah yeah I absolutely yeah. love this versus versus cover two. All right, we're not we're not going to blitz. We're just going to run cover two. I like to uh, put the outside receiver on a, screen, and then I like to put the running back here, the back receiver on the stack on a drag route, and watch the RB. You can see just pass lead, bullet pass lead that out. One play touchdown versus cover two. Granted, there's a million ways to bomb cover two, but that's a really good thing to do. Uh, versus cover two and then you're making the read also across the middle the high low read between the drag and also the the crossing route from uh from your tight end over the middle of the field you see what i'm saying so you make the read first is that corner is he going down is he shooting down if he is then throw rb boom rb is open or you can have the high low read between Taysom hill and the uh the drag route i'm gonna just go back over that one last time it's, it's just so good. It's so good. Look, the drag, the fade, one play touchdown, the crossing is open. Like, they're all open. Everything's open versus cover two. The, the smoke screen is open. It's, it's all open. Now, they might try to get a little frisky here and be a little bit... Um, they're going to man up, right? RB. They're going to put the guy in a deep zone. They're going to do all sorts of stuff. Once again, then just, th just throw the... So this, right? They're like, all right, all right, all right. They're like, all right, all right. You know what we're going to do? We're going to, and what I think the best players do, they end up manning up like all these guys. They're like, all right, we're going to, we're going to man up all this whole, this whole side here. And I'm going to be able to lurk, lurk with my user doing, doing whatever I want to do. All right. 
So we're going to do the same thing. All right. And with the way that this guy, you're able to use your catch, just bullet pass lead down to the outside. You're able to undercut and typically he catches that. He didn't catch it. Big deal. Uh, but once again, you have this drag route coming underneath. There's still going to be a lot of things open, but this is a great staple play versus, uh, versus cover two. Now, another, another way I like to run this is I like to, um, I like to just slant, uh, on, on the back side. So a lot of people are going to try to take away these two receivers, right? And let's say they play a cloud there on the right hand side and they're going to manually try to take away X as well. So whenever you do this, this backside slant, it does a good job of getting in the void underneath as well. So whenever people adjust to what you're doing, you can have small adjustments to uh, counter what they're doing. And this is, I think is a really good example of showing how, what they like to do to try to take away. Okay. You're going to have to add catch me, but we have two guys there. Um, we took away the underneath route over here. We're manning up the crossing route, right? Okay. So then the B receiver gets open. They're like, okay, well, you're like, Oh, Chris, what they're going to do, obviously is they're going to, uh, man up B man up RB man up a right. And then lurk, lurk right here. It's like, okay. But if you do the slant, right, the crossing route and the slant still going to get open underneath, you know, like right? it's just going to be a shorter game. So there, there's no right answer for them to do whatever they want to do. And if they're in any other zone or anything else, like, don't be afraid. Just, just check it down to your, just check it down to your running back here on the drag. Like drags are your best friend. This offense is great for drag. Whenever I'm going against someone who uh, likes to run cover four or even cover, cover four drop or cover four quarters. First and foremost, we'll go over, um, we'll go over the quarters post wheel is my go-to play here. Um, I'm going to go over cover four. Let's go to match coverage, cover four quarters. First and foremost, I'm going to respot the ball here. Uh, the field, which is the, you know, the wide side. Um, we're also on the short side, but all, all I like to do here on this play is just streak the tight end. As you can see, you're going to see against um, cover four quarters, it's a one play touchdown. Boom. Easy, easy, easy peasy. A lot of people understand like on gun bunch, you have to, uh, if you're running quarters on gun bunch, you have to, you know, deep half the bunch side on, uh, you know, all, all these different rules to not give up one play touchdowns. However, whenever you're on five wide, you're going to be able to pop them once with this. So if they have a four down lineman, um, I'm going to assume if they're, if they have, you know, deep out zones, you know, flat zones, all that, that they're going to be playing some quarters. And because typically quarters defense is you have four down linemen. And so I'm going to hit them with, with this easy. And also they even might know that they need to do that, but uh, you, it's literally just one hot route and boom, it's a one play touchdown. Very easy to do. Now, if they can do different things to so try to take that away, uh, for instance, I'm going to put him in a, in a deep half. Okay. So as you can see, it actually still honestly gets open. <laughs> you just pass lead it to the inside, but it, it takes away the one play touchdown. You have to precision pass that and be, and be kind of great. Um, but the other thing I like to do, I'm not going to make any adjustments on defense is I like to read, um, read that the high low there. Let's, let's not, let's not do a match. Let's do, just do a cover four. Let's go to the instant replay. Cause whenever they, they do match and if you let them get away with the one play touchdown, honestly, it's uh it's pretty good defense cause they're matching up everywhere else perfectly. Let's do a dollar cover four drop. A lot of people love running cover four drop versus a formation because the play fade out is so good. So once again, you're going to read, is it a one play touchdown? No, it's not. Boom. You can throw to your tight end on the wheel route, just like gun verticals, gun bunch verticals, right? The wheel route gets open versus cover four, cover three. This is the same concept, right? So yes, you're in a five wide, but the same principles are applying to a bunch of different concepts. That's been popular in the game for years. Okay. That is every time they run a cover four drop, the Purple zone is not going to be able to get out there and you have the, um, the S post 
is going to get get open as well. So my, your first read for me against this is going to be A. Does it look like it's one play touchdown? No. Boom, boom RB is open. And then lastly, you can throw um, to this S post. Now, Sherman did a great job there of, of taking that away. But let's uh, let's do that again. You can cut that off underneath, and boom. So you have a high low read between the S post and then also the the drag route. And the last read is going to be obviously this little hook route, um, which I rarely throw. But against high level players, they're making a bunch of adjustments. I actually throw this hook route a little bit more than you would think. Uh, but once again, high low read between the S post and then this drag. So, and I didn't want to throw this again, but yeah, your first read is tight end. If you think it's going to be match, did they have an adjustment for it? Okay, they do, or they're in a drop, not in a um, match. So then you, you read this flat real fast and that's open. But if it, that's guarded, uh, most likely you can throw this S post honestly right here because this, this guy is going to be out here on the tight end. Uh, this play is also not bad versus uh, versus man. I really like this S post. He's going to get inside position. Boom. Take it off of the races. Um, also, when get spinner, you know, they have to man up the tight end. So if they manned up the tight end, right, like the tight end is not going to be open. But look at this S post. He does a great job of getting inside leverage. And you just pass lead it to the inside right when he starts to cut. Cuts to the up to the end. And then boom, you're throwing it. You get no reaction. The DB just freezes. Really good versus man coverage. And then also versus off man. Like, um, let's go back to spinner here. And you're going to see you can you can throw this wheel route quick as well to the flat. As long as they're not shaded down, you're gonna be you're gonna be able to do that. So the, this play is deadly. I really like to run it versus any type of cover four or cover four match quarters. Let's go over the quarterback draw. Now, don't sleep on the QB draw. The QB draw is really, really good. And um, <laughs> I've been playing a lot of games with my boy, Shakobi, who's a uh, who's a pro player, and he audibles to, to the tray stack. And anytime anybody is in dollar, he will run this. Um, what this does is it, it, it makes dollar or any type of like 3-3 three, three formation very difficult to run. Now, there's nothing special about the run, right? Like, it's not like the defenders glitch out on some different, like, quarterback rap plays and all that. But it's just a really good run versus versus the meta. Like, this whole formation just destroys the meta versus the pass and the run. Um, you can't run dollar versus this, as you can see. And you can't really shoot it either. And you have so many responsibilities as a user for, like, different quick passes, right, from the... Um, X receiver really all over the field. All right. I want to emphasize the jailbreak screen as well. This is, this is an amazing, amazing screen pass. Uh, we'll just come out and DB fire two. And what I like to do is you can do, you can either pass lead this up like that. So you free form it and then up meaning at like 10 o'clock and he's going to, he's going to be able to just like stop there for a second and it allows your blocks to to connect, right? And then you can take off. Or if you want to try to really go for the jugular, it can also get blown up. Um, I've seen it get blown up whenever I do it like this, but you can pass lead it down, meaning like at, uh, at four o'clock, watch. But as you can see, you kind of get it and you can run. They're gonna blitz, blitz crib. You can take it to the crib yourself. So between the QB draw and the gel break, break screen, it's gonna elite, alleviate a lot of pressure because a lot of people will after you keep dotting them up and five wide try to blitz crib 